Hi! In this lesson, we're going to take a look at creating graphics in Python. We'll start off with the artist canvas. The place where we'll be doing all of our graphics is on something known as the canvas. We'll start with a blank canvas each time. The first thing to know about the canvas is the way the coordinate system works. It's a little different than our normal coordinate system you might be used to from math, but the principles are the same. In the top left, we have 0, 0, and going right horizontally is the positive x direction, and going down vertically is the positive y direction. So let's look at an example point. This is example point 100, 200. So it's over 100 in the x direction and down 200 in the y direction. Notice how the positive x direction is to the right and the positive y direction is down. And as another example point, this is 200 comma 0. So it's over 200 in the positive x direction and down 0 in the y direction. There's a few other important properties you might want to know about the canvas. For example, to get the width, we can use a function called getWidth. GetWidth returns the width of our canvas. Similarly, we can use the function getHeight to get the height of our canvas. Okay, so with that said, let's look at our first example program, Graphics Hello World. So the first program we're going to write in our first graphics program is this Hello World program. We want to create some text that says Hello World and throw it onto our canvas um, in our graphics program. This is the basic format that we'll use to create our text. To create the text, we create a new variable and we assign it the new text to it. The variable can be called anything, but in this example we're using txt. Notice that the new text is created using the text keyword in capital letters. Then inside the parentheses, we use the string that we want to assign to the text label. The string can be either a string variable or a literal string expression inside of quotes like we see here. We can then set the position of the text on the canvas. For text objects, the position is the bottom left corner of the text. And then finally, we add the text to our screen using the add method. We can have some additional options with text that will help us define how our text looks. Using the set color option, we can set the color of the text. Set font allows us to change the size and font type of the text. And our result is having hello world on our screen in black, 50 point area with the bottom left corner located at 100 comma 100. Okay, so texts are great, but let's look at how we can start to make a couple shapes. We're going to start with a circle here. So like our text object, we create a circle by assigning it to a variable. When we create the circle, we use the circle keyword and then we define the radius inside the parentheses. We then set the position of the circle. For a circle, the position represents the x and y coordinates of the center of the circle. We can also set the color, just like we did with the text, and then add it to the canvas. So again, our final result is a blue circle with a center located at 100, 50, and it has a radius of 25. Now let's take a look at rectangles. So rectangles are very similar to circles. Um, creating a rectangle, we use our um, two parameters that we pass are our width and our height. And we put those in that order inside of our parentheses. Um, we can then also set the color just like we did before. In this case, we're setting the color to red. Now when it gets to the position, we add it to our canvas in the same way using our x and y coordinates, but unlike our circle where the position was in the center, our rectangle has the position as the top left corner. So 60 comma 150 refers to the top left corner of that rectangle. And then our final results are a rectangle with a top left corner at 60 comma 150, a width of 100, and a height of 50. 
Okay, we talked a little bit about colors, but I wanted to go through all the different colors that we do have available in the editor. So notice that each color starts with the color keyword, followed by a period, and then the color name in lowercase letters. These are the colors available in our Python graphics library. So now that we've seen this, let's go look at some examples in the editor. Okay, so let's look at how we do our text hello world. Remember, we create a variable. It can be called anything. We're going to call it txt, and then we use the text keyword, and then inside the text keyword, we put our label. So hello world. Okay, inside of quotes there. Now we have to set our position, so we're going to say uh, set position, and we're going to set that to 100, 100. Okay and we can add it right now so if we just say add txt we'll see that we get our text right there in that position there we can then change the font type if we want to so we can say text dot set font and then we put inside of quotes let's do 60 point Arial. and if we run that we now see a much bigger font there it actually goes off the screen so maybe change that back to 40 try that and we get a little bit different font there um, so that's our hello world text so now let's take a look at how we can create a blue circle uh, with a diameter of 50 and a center at 100 100 now remember when we create our circle um, our circle has, we define the radius inside there. So if we want a diameter of 50, that means we're going to have a radius of 25. Um, and now we're going to set our position. So circ.setposition. And we're going to set that to be um, 100, comma 100. Okay, and then it says a blue circle. So we have to also change the color. So we're going to say circ.setColor and we use the color keyword and then just color blue and then finally we add our circle to our screen okay so let's give that a run and there we go okay so let's look at how we can create a red rectangle so remember our rectangle variable can have any name we want we'll call this one red rectangle and we use the rectangle keyword and we're going to create a rectangle with a width of 100 and a height of 50 Okay, so now we need to make our red rectangle red. So we're going to do red rectangle dot set color, and we're going to say color dot red. Then we're going to set our position. So red rect dot set position, and that's going to be at sixty comma one hundred and fifty. And then oh, hold on, extra space there. And then we're going to finally add our rectangle to our screen. And let's try that. Perfect.